بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد Let's continue with the 21st chapter الأنبياء الأنبياء which has 112 verses and the meaning of this name الأنبياء it is the plural of نبي نبي being a prophet and the, ditch, the definition of a prophet according to what the Shaykh is telling us and he's basically giving us the general uh, the most widely accepted definition he says man uhiya ilayhi litaqriri shar'i man qablahu that this is a person who has received revelation to affirm uh, the, re re the the revelation of other prophets who came before them whereas ar rasul man uhiya ilayhi bi shar'in jadid whereas a messenger somebody who's given new revelation not you know the revelation of previous people but he's given something that is new sababu tasmiyatiha we're told the name, why it was given this name. Lam tudhkar mufradatul al fi surah. So it's not because the word al was mentioned. However, walakinnaha infaradat bi dhikri qasasi sittata ashra nabiyan fasumiyat bihim. But because 16 prophets are mentioned, their stories are mentioned, not their names, but their stories are mentioned. It is because this, this large quantity of prophets are mentioned that the chapter has taken on the name Prophets, the Prophets. Uh, as far as other names, aside from al anbiya it is also known as Surat Iqtaraba. Iqtaraba being the first word that is mentioned in the chapter, which means it is drawing near, it is coming closer. Its general overarching objective, Bayanu muhimmati al anbiya wa rusuli fi da'wati ila Allah. The main thing is to, to make perfectly clear the objective of all the prophets and messengers and that is to call people to Allah Rabbul Alameen. وَرِعَيَةِ Ta'ala wa لُطْفِهِ bihim. And secondly, to see how much Allah shows of compassion and of care for His prophets and messengers as they are engaged in their mission of calling people to Allah Rabbul Alameen. سَبَبُ نُزُولِهَا It is a Meccan chapter. And we don't have anything to tell us why the chapter as a whole was revealed, but there is some, there are some authentic narrations for some of its verses. Fadluha. We're told that it is from, of course, those first chapters that was revealed, that were revealed, so the same as what preceded. So the relationship of the chapter and the way that it begins and it concludes is that Allah Rabbul Alameen is talking about the Day of Judgment and its portents, its signs. فَقَالَ تَعَالَ فِي فَاتِحَتِهَا اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ The people's account, accounting, accountability, judgment draws near, yet they are heedless and they turn away. And he says in the ending, هَذَا يَوْمُكُمُ الَّذِي كُنْتُمْ تُعَدُونَ This is that day of yours which you did not want to have happen but what was promised to you. The day of judgment, the day of resurrection and what there's going to be of Supreme, Allah's Supreme Court and accountability. But what about the relationship between this chapter and Taha which came before it? We're told, لَمَّا خَطَمَ سُبْحَانَهُ طَاهَ بِذِكْرِ أَهْلِ الْإِسْتِقَامَةِ وَالْهِدَايَةِ بِقَوْلِهِ فَسَتَعَلَمُونَ مَنْ أَصْحَابُ الصِّرَاطِ السَّوِيِّ وَمَنْ اِهْتَدَى That when Allah Ta'ala concludes Surah Al-Taha by mentioning the people of righteousness that are on the path of righteousness, those who are guided, saying, and you will know very soon who are the people of the straight path, those who are guided, افْتَتَحَ الْأَنْبِيَاءَ بِذِكْرِ الْغَافِلِينَ عَنِ الْهِدَايَةِ That he begins this chapter by mentioning those who are heedless and oblivious to guidance and are not upon the straight path by saying اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ That these people's judgment is drawing near and yet they are oblivious, they are heedless, they turn away. So subhanAllah we see the connection between these two and we say walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen that the coherency between these chapters it is beautiful and Allah Azza wa Jal is the best in all that he does subhanahu wa ta'ala and we say alhamdulillahi awwalan wa akhiran wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad